As May kicks off, KSLA is committed to bringing attention to mental health awareness because your mind matters. Today we are talking about depression. It is more than just a feeling of being sad or going through a difficult time. It can influence your mood, thinking, and behavior and may require additional professional health. The good news is that wherever you find yourself on this spectrum, there is hope and there is help. I am joined here with Dr. Lietanda Peer. Um, talk to me about depression and do you feel like it is underrepresented or misunderstood? Well, um, one of the things about depression that a lot of people don't realize is that depression can show itself differently in every single person that has it. And so oftentimes that is what leads to the, it being misunderstood because someone might be depressed and they might put off a persona mm -hmm. that they're happy while there might be others who their depression shows up in the form of substance abuse. There are others who might withdraw. And so there are different ranges of ways that depression can actually show up in a person. And therefore that is what does lead to people oftentimes misunderstanding or, or misdiagnosing a lot of times in family members and friends that are experiencing depression. Wow, well doctor, can you tell me when it crosses over from just being sad to clinically diagnosed depression? When it's a continuous cycle and there seems to be no relief that is in place. Uh, usually if someone, for example, withdraws for two weeks and then they come back to themselves. It might have been a slight touch of depression, but it was something that they were able to come out of, or as they say, come out of a funk. However, if that is not the case, you'll continuously see the progression of these behaviors. And then there'll be other behaviors that will start to add on that can start saying telltale signs that this person's mood is changing, things are changing in them. And so there's probably something going on with their mental health. And so these would, uh, I assume, differ from children to teens to adults in some of these signs, is that correct? Exactly correct. Um, depression will show up differently in children. Uh, as well as teenagers, as well as adults, because as we progress in age and our brain changes and our mental stages changes and our environments and everything that we do changes, that can play a great role in how we respond and how ultimately our mind tends to handle things. How can we as society learn to take responsibility for ourselves and coming forward and asking for help? Well, we have to work uh, collectively to start uh, addressing the disparities, uh, not just the disparities collectively of all those who face dealing with depression, but also to acknowledge that the disparities are unique and different when we add in factors such as race, gender, mm. um, uh, sexual orientation, all the way down to religion. Um, so we have to know that this is not something that is a simple fix all blanket all situation that there are complexities to it and we must be prepared to deal with those different complexities together. How can we deal with those together? Well, what are some of the things that we can do like everyday things as well? Everyday, everyday things is um, start by having a conversation. Um, there's a saying that goes around on social media, check on your strong friends, mm. you know, learning how to check in on the people that you care about and that you love to just, you know, do a safety check or a health check. I just want to see how you're doing, what's going on, paying attention to different activities that they're doing and seeing if you don't see that person acting like they usually happen. Okay. Um, and then also listening to your intuition. You know, when we grow close to people, our family, our friends and so forth, there are moments where we can feel when something's not right. And so it's always good to go with that, that gut feeling and just say, hey, you're okay, you, you need to talk to me about something or so forth, but always just be prepared to have a listening ear. That reminds me of a quote that I read that uh, just because I carry it well doesn't mean that it's not heavy or it doesn't hurt. Um, right. And you also have another event coming up that is shedding light on mental health awareness on May 12th. Is that correct? That is correct. On um, For the YWCA of Northwest Louisiana, each month we have a special uh, session called Let's Chat and Chew. And it's an opportunity for uh, about 20 community members to get together over a light lunch and talk about different topics that deal with social justice, racial justice. Now this month we are focusing on mental health and particularly looking at how mental health uh, 
is treated and perceived in communities of color, BIPOC, uh, black, indigenous, and people of color. And so May 12th from 1130 to one o'clock, we will have our Let's Chat and Chew at the Northwest Louisiana uh, YWCA office located at 850B Olive Street. And um, for those who are interested, they are able to scan the QR code and they can register uh, for the lunch and chat and chew. Wonderful, and we actually will have that flyer up on our website as well. So if you want additional information, you can find it there. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being here today, for talking on this platform about depression, about those signs and what we can do to combat that um, and get stronger together because it starts with conversations just like these for other individuals to be able to pull from um, and maybe find the courage to have a conversation just like you were saying. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, KSLA is committed to bringing attention to mental health awareness in effort to reduce the stigma around mental health conditions and illnesses. You can follow all of our mental health awareness stories, interviews, and tips through our KSLA app. Take out your phone and scan that QR code that you see right there on your screen. It will take you directly to the App Store where you can download our app for free and stay up to date on all of these uh, very important topics because your mind does matter.